So yes, yeah, so a big part of my career is, a big part of what I do as a job is trying to engender a sense of complexity in biology which is acceptable, that people can understand that it's okay to not know the answer to something. And that when you see that headline which says, scientists discover the gene for cocaine addiction, that's just not true. And it's okay to say uh, that something much more sophisticated than that, which is that a group of people with a particular set of genetic markers might have a predisposition to being more interested in a particular behavior than another group of people. But that's as accurate as we can be. Right? And that's a really hard sell, because headlines need to be black and white. Sure. Um, people obviously crave that. Um, Certainty. Know, that certainty. There, there is a there's a phenomenon which I would love that it became known as Rutherford's Law. It goes <laughs> like this. Rutherford's Law goes like this. If a headline says scientists discover the gene for X, whatever, um, then that gene doesn't exist and scientists didn't, didn't discover it. It's just wrong in both categories. And if you go on Google and if you type in scientists to discover the gene for X, you get 100,000 responses. And you can get stuff, everything from you know, serious diseases, obesity, but also really complex behaviors like violence or risk-taking behavior or being a liberal or, um, this is ser seriously, I've got a whole file of 100 headlines from every publication, including really credible ones, including many that I've worked for. Um, scientists discover the gene for height, there isn't a gene for height. Scientists discover the gene for cocaine addiction, there isn't a gene for cocaine addiction. Um, you're a geneticist, just stop me if I get any of this wrong. <laughs> scientists, dis this is doing the rounds currently this week, scientists discover the gene for homosexuality. Right? It doesn't exist, there isn't a gene for homosexuality. There's a really interesting trajectory of why we say things like this, which is about, it's about 100 years of biological determinism as an idea, right? where we want to look for really simple answers that are in our biology. We do this because our biology says that we need to do this. Um, that imperative which it comes from our biology. But the truth is there are almost no characteristics that we have which are derived solely from our genes. There are a few diseases, like cystic fibrosis, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Huntington's disease, um, which are caused by a single gene, and if you have that particular gene, then you will get that disease and you will suffer from it. Most characteristics do not operate like that. We get taught at school that eye colour, you know, blue eyes and brown eyes, and brown is dominant over blue, so if you've got a parent with brown eyes, then you're probably going to have brown eyes. It's mostly true that, but there's also a green eye gene, which means that it's absolutely impossible to predict the color of the, the eye color of your children based on the eye color of your parents.